Hey everyone, let me introduce an all new member to the Pack Talk line, Pack Talk Neo. In this tutorial, we'll show you everything you need to know about it. Pack Talk Neo comes loaded with premium technology. Now let's see the main functionalities. To increase the volume, simply roll the control wheel forward, and to decrease, roll it backwards. Now you can also do that with a voice command. Hey Cardo, volume up. Hey Cardo, volume down. You have a mute audio option, which comes in really handy in a variety of different scenarios. Now this one is voice command only, and to do it, issue the command, Hey Cardo, mute audio. Mute audio. When you do this, it lowers all incoming audio to the very background, uh, and it deactivates the microphone. To get out of it, simply roll the control wheel forward or issue the voice command, Hey Cardo, unmute audio. Unmute audio. In addition, you also have the option to mute just your microphone. Now this comes in useful in intercom scenarios where you may or may not want the people in your group to hear what's coming through your microphone. You can do this manually by tapping the media and intercom button together. The microphone is now muted. To reactivate it, do the same thing. And the voice commands for that would be, hey Cardo, mute microphone. Mute microphone. The microphone is now dead. Nobody hears what you're saying. Hey, Cardo, unmute microphone. Unmute microphone. And the microphone is back. And lastly, your phone's voice assistant. You can always just tap the mobile button to pull that up on your phone. If it's an Android phone, you can simply say, OK, Google. Or in this case, I would just say, hey, Siri. Of course, PackTalk Neo comes with total phone support. To answer an incoming phone call, you can either tap the mobile button one time or just issue the command, answer and that'll pick up the phone call. If it's a call that you'd rather not take, you can roll the control wheel backwards or just issue the command, ignore. Now you'll notice that the phone is still ringing and it will continue to ring until it goes to voicemail, but as far as my helmet is concerned, I've moved on. I'm no longer hearing the ringtone. And once you're on a call and it's time to hang up, you can either tap the mobile button one time to end the call or just issue the command, hey Cardo, end call. To redial your last number, you can either press and hold the mobile button for two seconds, or issue the command, hey Cardo, redial number. Redial number. To set up your speed dial, you need to first go to the Cardo Connect app. Select the phone area, and the very top one is set for speed dial. So let's set that. Find the contact that you would like to assign to it. Hit set, and that's now locked in. Then to use speed dial, you can either tap the mobile button two times or issue the command, hey Cardo, speed dial. Speed dial. When it comes to listening to music, you can of course stream that from a device that stores it locally or make use of the many different music streaming apps that are available. I'll show you first how to control the music just using the buttons on the unit itself, and then we'll run through it again using just voice commands. I have the Cardo Connect app over here just so that you can see what's going on. So to start the music, just tap the media button up front one time. That gets the music going. If you'd like to skip forward to another track, a single tap of the media button. Single tap again to go forward. And two taps to go back. To stop the music, just click the roller wheel in the back. Now to do that same thing using just voice commands, it would go like this. Hey Cardo, music on. Music on. Hey Cardo, next track. Hey Cardo, next track. Hey Cardo, previous track. Hey Cardo, music off. Music off. Thanks for watching. See you next time.